today we will uh, start with uh, uh, the presentation of Mr. Uh, Yusuf Larouj. Uh, Yusuf Larouj is a doctoral student from Mohammed Tafet University. He is also uh, a teacher of English at a preparatory classes. And his main interests are uh, language policy, social linguistics, and language, uh, English language uh, teaching and learning. And he's going to talk about whether uh, we can use uh, technology in education. Uh, Mr. Yusuf, uh, the floor is yours. Good morning, everybody. Actually, I have been here last year and uh, I couldn't just wait to be here for the second time and I'm very glad to have made it and uh, to be here. So, I thank Morsnet for holding such great events that gather us and uh, share our thoughts and ideas. Well, so my talk today is, uh, let us say, about its literacy, literacy first. Can our education use technology? So here I'm not going to contend or give arguments whether we, we should use or we shouldn't use ICC in our education, but just kind of sharing my thoughts with you and sharing kind of apprehensions and and worries about this issue of ICT in education because the first day I saw the announcement of this conference actually I felt kind of provoked. I said, oh, what are, what are they doing? Is it ICT in Moroccan education? Uh, if we talk about resource centers and so I can agree, but when it comes to applying ICT in Moroccan, the average Moroccan classroom, I just felt, as I, as I told you, felt teased. Though I'm not kind of pessimistic people, but I, I'm, I, I felt provoked by this theme. But actually, I, I really thank them for choosing this theme because we should, from time to time, ask these kinds of questions to, to brainstorm and see where I, our ideas and practical thoughts can fit. So, in the course of this presentation, presentation I'm going to just share light on ICT in education. We're going to, uh, to have a, a short, let's say, uh, overview on GENI program, it's a policy for the Moroccan higher education, actually Moroccan education. Uh, I, I missed the, the last two days, so maybe just through the presenter, I, 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 I just inferred that there, there was some talk about this issue before. Okay. And uh, last, I will just share that on some of the challenges or call them obstacles which hinder the use of ICT in Moroccan education. Okay. So, that, as I said, uh, before applying uh, ICT, uh, in my opinion, we should be literate in the use of ICT. When we say, when I say we, it's not just teachers; it's the the, the whole body. Teachers, I mean uh, policymakers, students, parents, uh, authorities, administrations, and so on. So the literature says that literacy with using technology and communication means the ability to use digital technology communication tools, networks to define, access, manage, integrate, evaluate, create and communicate information. So in my point of view, we should have a clear understanding, deep understanding, what, what do we mean by ICT? What are the ICT tools we can use in our classrooms? To what extent we can apply this for effective teaching and learning? And are we ready really for, for using technology in, in teaching our pupils in the public school? So, the use of technology as a tool of research to organize, evaluate, communicate information. So, ICT in education means simply teaching and learning with ICT. It plays, as you know, an important role in education today. Sorry. Uh, we, we will not argue, I mean, there are many advantages of using ICT in education, such as, for example, it Images can easily be used in teaching and improve the retentive memory of students. It can enable teachers to create, to create interactive classes to make the classroom more enjoyable, which could improve the student attendance and concentration. It has many, many advantages 
uh, I mean, in the classroom, certainly. Now, Moroccan education or the Moroccan Ministry of Education has tried in in 2005 to introduce and launch a program called Jenny. This program aimed at the generalization of ICT materials in Moroccan schools. So it mainly meant to equip a specific classroom in each school in Morocco and call it multimedia room where students and teachers can have access to computers, to projectors, to internet and so in order to create different activities that, that are interesting and, and, uh, and purposeful. So as I said, it was the meant of generalizing technology and integrating it in education systems. However, this, this program has been subject to, to a fair share of criticism okay, by different researchers and, and, and experts. So here I'm going to, to mention one uh, educator in Morocco who said that, so we, I have here two researchers, so one said, these measures have been very slowly being implemented and the use of ICT in rocket school is very limited if not absent. So after uh, more than 12 years, we don't really sense there is ICT in rocket school. So, so very hard to find there is a really a multimedia classroom or there is access to the internet and the students and teachers are really using, using uh, these ICT tools in teaching. Another research point by Hisham Haile, is a teacher and, and, and a social uh, activist. He said, when we say ICT, we, we mainly mean computer and data show no more. And he said that there are th three possibilities, actually, when we talk about ICT in Morocco school. So he said that the first, tr the first possibility or option, there is no ICT at all. There are many, many schools in Morocco in which you don't find any trace for, for ICT materials. He said the second option is that you can find some, some uh, tools, or te uh, some technological tools used to teach and learn it, but the administration prevents the teachers from using them. So it sounds weird actually, but I personally have been subject to such a situation. I used to ask, so the, the, I used to, to, to teach in a very new school, so I was the, the first and only teacher there, and used to ask for the data shop to use some creative, interesting materials to students, but the, the headmaster used to say, no, just we keep the data show for big events. We used to teach in a very remote area in, in, the, in the whereabouts of Al-Hussein, and I really, uh, until today, I never knew what he meant by big events. I, 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 I don't think there would be a big event that would be organized one day there. So, and he said the third option is that there are some really some, some uh, ICT materials and the, the administration doesn't prevent teachers but the problem is that teachers or many teachers don't know how to use these materials or reluctant to use them also and maybe they said they don't know how to use it okay now we come to the obstacles and challenges so here again I'm not going to just rely on the literature in the, in the in internet and so on I, I rely on it on a research sorry, a research it was done by a uh, an education uh, let's say uh, uh, someone interested in education is that as a part of his PhD I think it was in 2013 it is in French so if, please pardon me if you find me kind of not very fluent in, in transmitting the idea because I'm reading at the same time I'm translating and saying the idea to you. So this, this uh, research was entitled La Tegration et l'Usage des TIS dans le système éducatif marocain. Attitude des enseignants de l'enseignement primaire et secondaire. This person is named Mustafi. It was done in 2013 as I said. He said in overall, so it was a thorough research about really the implementation and the efficiency of this program. He said that in general, the majority of teachers, 61%, said they never used ICT in their classes. 
So he interviewed teachers in primary, in, in middle high school, and in high school. So as I said, the majority said never use ICT in classes. 30% said they use it occasionally, and only 11% said they use it often. And through the, the investigation of the real costs behind this, he said, he come up with, with uh, uh, different reasons why this Gini program or ICTM Rogan schools is not really implemented. And, uh, and this is also based on the questionnaires and interviews with the teachers he had. He said that there are some obstacles related to, to the integration of uh, ICT in education. So he said that the problem first is related to infrastructure. So there is a problem of infrastructure. infrastructure. So first, you may not find I mean, the, the equipment, or you may not have, have access to, for example, to electricity in many schools in Morocco. You may not have access to the internet. So this is, I mean, all for in the, the point of infrastructure. He said there is another obstacle which is related to the so the professional development of teachers. He said that 17% of, of teachers said they master ICT, while 46% said their mastery is insufficient if not they know at, if they know at all. And 37 said they 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 have no idea what ICT is. And another kind of obstacles he said that are related to the policy of integrating ICT in, in, in Moroccan education said that we don't have a real policy I mean, that is incorporated to, to really make this uh, the program very efficient. Okay. And last, he said there are some obstacles related to the education system itself. Okay. So he mentioned that, for example, 70% of teachers uh, uh, said, for example, that the, the large number of students in one class is not helpful to introduce ICT in classes. And, uh, he said also, some said that the program is very heavy, so there is no time to such creative or uh, additional activities. So there are many, so because we are we're, we're pressed with time, so I just go through them very quickly. Now look at this picture. This is a Moroccan classroom in, I think, like uh, three, four decades ago. And this is an average classroom of Morocco today. Actually, I didn't want to choose, uh, I mean, um, uh, uh, worst images, okay? But just to compare. I have these pictures because, look, this, in 2002, the Harvard University released a report named or titled Change the World with Unchanged Classrooms. The, the report says, if you compared our, our world today with the world 100 years ago, you would encounter amazing advances in science, commerce, health, care, transportation, and countless other factors. But if you were to compare the classroom of 100 years ago with the average classroom today, you would recognize it immediately. Student lined up in rows, paper and pencil in hand, the teacher in the white in the blackboard jotting down important facts and so on. Okay. So as you see, this uh, maybe this is talking about uh, I think about Western uh, Western schools. Let alone so uh, if in the picture it seems that it's the opposite. It seems that in regular schools the classroom has been or have been better in the past than in today. So, in my opinion, the point I'm trying to make is, what has changed that would actually urge us to use ICT in our education, actually? I believe in a, in a famous saying that goes, there is no shortcut to success, you have to take the step. So, in my opinion, people who are saying that ICT is very optimistic, yes, I, I do agree, I support them, but kind of trying to skip uh, thousands of stages that other regimes in, in, in other countries have, have passed and we're just uh, trying to make it as short as does and say that we are using ICT in our education. Thank you very much.